People in a southern suburb of Beirut woke up on Saturday morning to the scene of a collapsed building in tight security hours after an Israeli airstrike killed Ibrahim Akil, a Hezbollah commander who was in charge of the group's elite Radwan forces. Lebanon's health minister said on Saturday the death toll from the Israeli airstrike had risen to 31, including seven women and three children. About a dozen members of the Hezbollah militant group, who were meeting in the basement of the building that was destroyed, were among the dead, as well as three Syrian nationals. Faras Abayad told reporters that 68 people were also wounded, of whom 15 remain in hospital, in the deadliest Israeli airstrike on Beirut since the summer 2006 Israel-Hezbollah war. Late Friday, the Israeli military said the strike killed 11 Hezbollah operatives, including Akil. Hezbollah announced overnight Friday that 15 of its operatives were killed by Israeli forces, but did not elaborate on the location of these deaths. Israel launched the rare airstrike in the densely populated southern Beirut neighborhood on Friday afternoon during rush hour as people returned home from work and students from schools. On Saturday morning, Hezbollah's media office took journalists on a tour of the scene of the airstrike where workers were still digging through the rubble. Search and rescue operations are still ongoing the Lebanese health minister added, with the death toll from the strike likely to rise. He said hospitals across the country are full with wounded people following the mass explosions of Hezbollah pagers and walkie-talkies earlier this week. Lebanese troops cordoned off the area preventing people from reaching the building that was knocked down as members of the Lebanese Red Cross stood nearby to take any recovered body from under the rubble. العالم بأمان الله ماجي اللي رايحة والعالم اللي راجعة من بيوتها والعالم راجعة من أشغالها واللي هاي جاي تاخد بنتها أولادها من الحضانة يعني عمل إرهابي بالنسبة اللي حدث امبارح هي حدث مأساة ضربة إسرائيلية مشابهة للضربة السابقة جينا نحن استطلعنا الوضع لقينا انه حجم الدمار عائد كبير في بناية سقطت مؤلفة من عدة أدوار وفي الموقف المجاور لإلها تم استهدافه كذلك بصاروخ وتطبقت الأسقف Hezbollah pounded northern Israel with 140 rockets Friday, a day after the militant group's leader Hassan Nasrallah vowed to retaliate against Israel for a mass bombing attack, the Israeli military and the militant group said. Israel's military said the rockets came in three waves Friday afternoon targeting sites along the ravaged border with Lebanon. Hezbollah said its attacks had targeted several sites along the border with Kadiusha rockets, including multiple air defense bases as well as the headquarters of an Israeli armored brigade they said they'd struck for the first time. The Israeli military said 120 missiles were launched at areas of the Golan Heights, Saift and the Upper Galilee, some of which were intercepted. Fire crews were working to extinguish blazes caused by pieces of debris that fell to the ground in several areas, the military said. The military did not say whether any missiles had hit targets or caused any casualties.